Hello, welcome to my channel guys, my YouTube friends. So what I'm doing in the kitchen? Anyway, I always wanted to do a little uh, cooking show. So this is my first ever cooking show. So please be patient with me. And today what I'm gonna cook is a Japanese style Hamburg steak. Hamburg steaky. So it's, it's just like a burger patty, but um, in a Japanese style with Japanese flavors to it. Okay. So uh, here I am. So we're cooking Japanese uh, style hamburger steak. Hamburg steaky, right? So what we need today is some uh, organic minced beef some panko uh, breadcrumbs oil soy sauce mirin salt nutmeg tomato paste and this is uh, for garnishing like ketchup onion and uh, potatoes for garnishing and garlic to put in the minced beef to en en enhance the flavors and some uh, jasmine rice so let's go! So uh, the first thing you want to do is to cook the rice first because that would take a long time. So what you do is just, it's really good using a rice cooker because you don't have to worry about things. So just put it in, put this little cup of water for steam. This, this one is a, a steaming uh, rice cooker. So all you do here is just push this little button here. And that's it, easy. So here's the minced beef. So all I have to do is uh, put a couple of cloves of garlic and uh, there you go, chopped garlic, put that in to marinate it. And uh, tomato paste, we'll put a teaspoon in the meat, panko. So we'll put a half a cup of panko in this. But before we do that, we're gonna add some milk before we put it there, okay? Okay, so uh, get these uh, panko crumbs, half a cup, put it in here, and put half a cup of uh, milk. So they it will soak in. So uh, the breadcrumbs and the milk has soaked in pretty well. So we will just put it in here. And what we need to do is add some uh, salt. about a teaspoon of salt and some pepper a teaspoon of pepper too there we do there we go and then we'll just mix this and we need one more thing and add one more egg to it because it's really dry so usually when you put an egg when you cook it, it will just stick together and it will be much better. So we add an egg to it. And we just mix this together.
for the coloring, usually you would add some soy sauce if you want, so it's kind of optional because I already put some salt. I put some salt already in it. Okay, so I'm gonna make some uh, garnish. So get some, just gonna blanch it. So put some salt in the boiling water, just a little bit. And just put these guys in for about uh, 15 minutes, and they'll be, and they'll be done. So we're gonna, we have to cut an onion. So let's cut this onion. Get little squares. So here we go. So this onion, the reason I'm cutting this onion because we're gonna make a onion sauce for this uh, hamburger steak. Okay, uh, so we got uh, about 15 minutes for cooking the rice. We're gonna roll this uh, hamburger steak. So here it is, yummy. So just a handful like that. And just roll it in the bowl. So this will uh, pack it up really tight and when you push it use your palm to put it in so you cook easier so so here you go that's one same thing Pretty tight. Use our palm. Put it in. So it'd be ready for frying. So we just put some uh, olive oil into a hot pan and we can start cooking. Nice and hot. So this will cook nicely. Doesn't that look yummy? Ooh. So when it's almost cooked, we can uh, add a little bit of uh, nutmeg on top for flavor. So uh, I think it's almost done. I put the lid on. So the best is don't trust your instincts. So let's use a temperature gauge to make sure the meat is well, well cooked thoroughly. Lots of steam. So we'll put this in. And if it's 170. Bingo! So uh, they're all done. 
So I think the potatoes are pretty cooked thoroughly. So we're just gonna cut it, slice it up and serve it on the side, just like a garnish or something like that. So I finished uh, cooking the hamburger steaks. So I'm just gonna add a bit more oil on the pan. And I'm gonna cook the, cook the onions here. So we're gonna make the sauce. So we first, we'll cook these onions, make it nice and brown first, and, and we'll set that on the side. Uh, so you can see the onions are pretty brown. It's soaked in all the juices from the meat. So we add a couple of cloves of uh, chopped garlic in it. Just mix that in. Smells good. And we add for the sauce, a tablespoon of uh, marin, marin, M I, marin, M I R I N, and uh, a quarter cup of water, and uh, one and a half table, two tablespoons of uh, soy sauce. So, and we'll just heat cook this slowly and then scrape out all the juices from the bottom and just let it cook down. Okay, so uh, the sauce is cooking right here. So you have to taste it just to fine tune. So you just might have to add a little bit more salt for the taste and some more pepper. And just make sure it tastes uh, good enough, like enough salt and pepper inside. So this is the sauce we're gonna make for that Hamburg, Japanese style Hamburg steak. So when it, if it cooks too dry, now it's a little bit drier, a lot of water, just add just a little bit of more, a tad of water. So the juices are all blending nicely together. So we, the sauces looks really good. So our final step we're gonna do, we check for the salt and pepper, make sure the taste is good. So the last step we'll put a butter in the sauce and that completes our sauce mm, smells good all right so we're gonna the water i think it's kind of boiling now so we're gonna blanch some broccoli So I hope you uh, enjoy my first ever cooking show. Uh, cooking this uh, Japanese hamburger steak, humbug steaky. So uh, here it is, and it'll taste really good with this uh, Japanese style ketchup on it. So relax, enjoy, share, like, and leave some comments below and uh, tell me what do you think. Am I doing a good job or? Should I just don't do this ever again? Okay, take care. I love you all. Bye-bye. Hey, hi guys. So uh, before I enjoy my dinner, I would like you to know uh, I do have an Instagram. So go to my uh, YouTube page and click, I think up there, to check out my Instagram. And I do all my home cooking and uh, when I go to fancy restaurants or other restaurants and I take pictures of beautiful food so do check it out guys cool